Hey guys, welcome to another time lapse video. In this one, I'm going to be drawing one of my characters. He's kind of like a sparrow, fairy kind of character. And this is actually the first time I've ever fully painted him before. Um, otherwise, I've only sketched him ever so often and he's never I've even had color on him before. So this is really fun to see him in his fully painted form um, and fully rendered and everything. But the idea behind this video is that he maybe was trying to learn how to fly, but his wings aren't really quite fully developed yet, so he hurt himself and now he's all sad and pouty and his little squirrel friend is coming to sit down next to him to try to cheer him up. So I felt like this painting would be pretty fun to paint because uh, I get to paint this really large squirrel and big large plants because uh, the character himself isn't really large, he's not like a human sized character, he's quite small. Um, so everything around him is quite big in comparison to what they normally would be. But that being said, I feel like the squirrel should be slightly larger because um, in in my head he is a character, like the squirrel is something that he rides around the forest since he can't fly. Um, so as I was getting through this painting I kind of realized that the squirrel is kind of too small and I don't think he would be able to carry the weight of the character um, if he were to ride him so in future drawings of him I'll have to make him bigger um, but by the time I realized it for this painting in particular uh, it was kind of too late and if I had resized it and tried to rework it it would look weird and I would have to reposition everything so I just left it be um, maybe it's just like a younger version of him, I'm not sure. But overall, when I was going through my process with this painting, I felt like it was a lot slower than it normally was. Like, I felt like things that normally wouldn't take me that much time were taking me a lot of time, and I wasn't really quite sure what exactly it was. Um, the one thing I do think contributed to it was the fact that, um, with my lighting I felt like I had a good idea I knew the direction it was coming from and I had my shadows like planned out and stuff but when it came to um, kind of rendering it out I felt like the shadows just weren't really working for me and I wasn't really quite understanding um, how the cast shadows would work and how the shadows would affect certain materials um, so I felt like that really slowed down my process even though normally it d doesn't really slow it down and lighting is something I normally struggle with too so for it to extremely slow me down for this piece is definitely odd for me another thing I struggled with was his face uh, when I initially sketched it I really liked it and as I started rendering it I felt like the expression I was going for was getting quite lost and the fact that um, I was trying to make kind of this cute like pudgy kind of look with the cheek and the side of the uh, mouth, um, I felt like I wasn't executing it the way that I wanted it to so with me focusing so hard on that other things kind of got messed up I feel like. Um, so I had to rework his face a lot to try to recapture the look that I had in the sketch. Um, in the end I'm really happy with how his face came out. I think it's my most favorite part of the drawing. So another thing I wanted to try to work on in this painting was being more loose with this painting um, and trying to not bring everything to a very um, extremely polished look. Um, in my last drawing I felt like I accomplished that pretty well but in this one I felt like things kind of didn't come together the way I wanted it to. Like there's certain areas where I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Then there's other areas where it's more or less not exactly, it just, it feels exactly what I didn't want. Like sloppy and not really well thought out uh, brush strokes. Um, so that's something I don't like about this piece. Um, but I guess I'll talk a little bit about the setting I kind of had in mind for this. So the character is based off 
mostly a tree sparrow. Um, so I figured I might as well keep things in a North American setting. Um, so I used a gray squirrel. And I chose the gray squirrel because uh, since the character is mostly brown um, in color, I figured if I made the squirrel brown, then it would more or less blend in too much with him. So I wanted to make him look a little bit more, um, make him stand out more from the squirrel. And um, that being said, I when I painted the rocks, the squirrel kind of blended in with the rocks. and. I'm probably gonna go back in and put like moss because I don't like how much it blends in like there's shading and everything um, but again the lighting and shading wasn't as effective as I would like it to be so I feel like I need to add in some kind of moss or something to just to separate the at least the paws from the rocks a little bit more so I also did some research on plants because I wanted to have things make sense in the setting that they're in so I found something called the taro marginal plant and I thought the plant was absolutely beautiful and they have like these really cool um, kind of heart shaped or teardrop shaped um, leaves which is exactly what I love to draw in terms of just like randomly drawing leaves and they also have this cool little ribboning edges look to them they also have this um, absolutely beautiful kind of really bright um, green veining in the center of them so I thought they would make a really cool addition um, to this piece and especially because I love the shape of the leaf and I really like how it fills the space and they're just really fun to draw honestly I really liked it and then the other plant is just some sort of grass type plant um, I'm not exactly sure what exactly it is but they were in a lot of the references that I was looking at and I was thinking of adding more types of plants, but I didn't want to just put too much in the background where it would kind of distract from the characters. So I kind of kept it to pretty simple, two different kinds of plants. The squirrel's fur was pretty difficult to paint because again, I wanted to be loose with it, um, but I was having a little bit of issues with the direction of the fur pattern underneath the neck. And when it came to the fish, I when I initially started painting the fish, I felt like the fish was looking quite phallic and I struggled a bit for a hot minute with trying to make it look not phallic. Um, in the end, I feel like it looks better, but yeah, that was, that was a time. And then for the rocks, I kind of wanted to play with not using a rock textured brush um, it's extremely helpful and I use it as like a kind of like a base to inspire some shapes um, when painting over the rock but uh, I wanted to try I wanted to try just trying sketching it in um, I would like just etch stuff in essentially and try to make it look more rock like um, which was very intimidating but it, I feel like uh, the part specifically between the squirrel and the character's bum <laughs> is what I wanted, but I feel like I didn't really achieve it all throughout, so that was definitely a struggle. Um, and then for the water, I was going to put like duckweed on top, and it's still what it is supposed to be, but I tried making it bigger. and. The duckweed shape was just very hard to recreate no matter what I did. I tried making a brush, I tried um, kind of similar to kind of like copy and pasting it, turning it and everything and transforming it and everything. But it just wasn't working, it didn't look right and I felt like it was better to just hint at something rather than um, have something be there and be almost it was almost jarring to look at because it's like what is that and I feel like maybe if people um, don't really know what duckweed looks like and I feel like people also see it f when they do see it in real life um, they don't really see it up close so when you do look at it as an isolated shape it's kind of awkward it's like it does I don't know it didn't look good so overall I'm really happy with how this piece came out um, obviously the lighting definitely 
could use some work and it definitely um, caused a lot of problems for the process of this painting um, and it kind of left things to be slightly messier than I would like it to be. Um, I also struggle a lot with color and I feel like um, having a mood board that was really similar, uh, like it being all wilderness type of things and having a bunch of earth tones to kind of gauge my eye with, uh, it definitely helped bring this piece together in terms of color and that's something I normally struggle with so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I'm also really happy with how the character's face turned out, uh, like expression wise. I think he just looks super cute and I also just really love the squirrel because I think he's also super cute. And I also just really like how it, how the squirrel is kind of crawling in and kind of coming from the corner. So it kind of pulls you in from the corner and then the leaves are kind of um, over, overlapping the squirrel and you have these really cool like cast shadows. I'm really happy how I did that. Ah, I like that lighting. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, I think I learned a lot from this piece, and I'm so happy to see my little sparrow character finally in a fully colored um, painting. Not a sketch for once, and maybe I'll actually come up with a name for him and maybe actually give him some design in terms of clothing, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!